Ever since the pandemic, questions and concerns over the human body and the public health have heightened. I have been thinking about the themes of this season for a while now, but I wanted to ensure that the conversations we would have with our guests went beyond our experience of the last 3 years. So I started wondering, can we look at the role of architecture for providing care beyond the design of hospitals? What are the ways in which medical tourism defines entire cities? How do we shape our environment to foster healthy living, both physically and mentally? And how do we leave behind a digital legacy as designers after death? We're painting some very wide strokes this time and speaking to a diverse range of people, from artists, architects and researchers to healthcare professionals, some of whom have been gracious enough to share their personal experiences with physical and mental ailments. With the support of the Graham Foundation for Advanced Studies in the Fine Arts, here is introducing season 5 on care, health and medicine. I am Vaishnavi Shukla and this is Architecture of Center, a podcast where we highlight contemporary discourses that shape the built environment but do not occupy the center stage in our daily lives. We speak to radical designers, thinkers and change makers who are deeply engaged in redefining the way we live and interact with the world around us. Over the course of the next few months, you will hear from a range of scholars, artists, activists and healthcare professionals who will talk about some of the current discourses in the field of care, health and medicine and their relationship to the built environment. We start off with Canadian doctoral researcher Fiona Kenny and ask her what exactly care means. There's an important distinction firstly between medical and social care and so mm. medical care focuses on fixing the body and we're trying to get towards a state of curedness or like being cured. In contrast, social care involves the kind of more relational activities, so even as simple as feeding or having a conversation with someone bathing, and this this care is a lot more likely to be carried out by women. People see it as less complex mm. and generally it's uh, not as well compensated and people think it requires less formal training, right? Then we talked to Indian artist Ranjit Kandalgaonkar about the historic bubonic Bombay plague of 1896. I mean at that point the term of, of infrastructure itself is not a term. Plague temporary shelters, hospitals that were built were built with this idea of managing these exclusion, keeping people kind of segregated so there are camps that are set up. There is all these kind of drafted diagrams of hospital uh, of the carts So all of that is a specific architecture that is now making its way into and all of this has a very visual impact on the city. With fellow Graham grantee Mine Atairu, we discuss female health and menstruation huts in the Benin Kingdom. Also very interested in the menstruation hut as a spa because in Benin And I guess this is the case for a lot of communities that in pre-colonial times or what we know about the literature we read um which is not written by us but by someone else is that women were isolated they were not active participants in politics and much of their life is dedicated to caring for the family and cooking and cleaning and wiping after men but during this time of menstruation they are then not required to do all of that housework this gives them time to their self we are also in conversation with architect and educator david kissen about his recent book the architecture of disability my ultimate argument i think in the book is that a disability critique of architecture is not one that simply seeks to make the built environment more accessible but one that comes to terms and a understanding with how embedded ideas of physical capacity incapacity weakness and impairment are within the discipline's um, language and with british artist orit ashri we exchange thoughts about the expression of death on digital platforms i think death became something more of a, of a taboo in the modern capitalist world and i think people are now starting to really see it more as a continuum so okay we'll we'll leave but then also we don't sometimes we just die but sometimes dying itself is a is a process you know so how how do i do that and so so yeah loneliness is profound if people for whatever reason let's say through immigration or exile found themselves living a lonely life when they the, when they were dying and dead that became very exaggerated 
We have some more incredible guests coming on this season and cannot wait for you to join us. The first episode goes live next Thursday and a new one follows every 2 weeks. Special thanks to Ayushi Thakur for the research and design support and Kahan Shah for the background score. You can follow us on Instagram at Arc of Center and reach out to us through our website arcofcenter.com. That is A R C H O F F C E N T R E. Thanks for listening.